Hey guys, here's your November book review vlog. Hey guys, well I've been revisiting a series that I started to read about two, three years ago and that I really liked. And this is the series, it's Ranger's Apprentice. Uh, this is book one, The Ruins of Gorlin. And it says over three million copies sold. This is a very, very popular series. Um, and it's by the author John Flanagan. Now, <clears throat> not to tell too much of the story, but basically the story centers around two main protagonists. Will, who is an orphan living in Castle Redmond, and Halt, who is part of the Ranger Corps in the country called Araluen. Will is living in Castle Redmond. He's an orphan, and there's a bunch of orphans in the town. And so what happens when the children become a certain age, they wind up being apprenticed to certain craft masters uh, in the castle. So someone might become an apprentice of the head cook. Someone might be, uh, become an apprentice of the battle master. Someone might become apprentice of the um, consul or ambassador. So all of Will's friends um, that he grew up with are all being chosen as apprentices, but Will wants to be a battle master apprentice, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen for him. And that's when he realizes that he's been chosen to become the ranger's apprentice. Now, they wear gray kind of shimmery cloaks, and they work as defenders of the fiefs in this country. So each castle has its own ranger, and the ranger is kind of an ambassador. He's kind of an interloper that goes back to the king and lets him know what's going on. Will gets into some really great adventures, uh, takes on some pretty intense monsters and other creatures, and he winds up growing into a really, really great character as you proceed through the series. And we do have all copies here at Ashboro and also in the Randolph County Library system. Really, by the way, this is for girls and guys. It doesn't matter. Um, it's really good. It's got a good female characters, good male characters, the writing is very good, and it's nice to see the author getting better at his craft as the book series goes on. So that's my recommendation for November, the Ranger's Apprentice series, number one, The Ruins of Gorlin. I hope you like it. Remember, if there's anything I ever recommend that you don't care for, I have no problem with you saying, you know what, I didn't like that, and putting it right back on the shelf. Okay, moms and dads, I realize that it would be difficult sometimes to get your children to read or be interested in reading, and I want to talk specifically about getting your child interested in reading, but I also want to talk specifically about ways to do that. In, uh, with small children, infants and toddlers and, and you know preschoolers, we always talk about how important it is for literacy to read to your kids and read with them. That doesn't change when your child uh, and student becomes a teenager. All the way up into the age of 16 and 17 and 18, to encourage literacy, it's important to not only read with your teenagers, but to be engaged with what they're reading. A way to do this is to get a copy of whatever it is that they're reading and read it along with them, and then just have periodical discussions about it. It'll show them that you're interested in what they're reading. It'll give you an idea of what they're interested in. It'll also help you to monitor content in case there's things that you would rather talk to them about if they encounter it in a book. The best way for you to do this is to get a copy of whatever it is that they're reading. Let them know, hey, you know what? I saw that book. I think that's interesting. I've requested a copy. Let's read it together and talk about it. It broadens a very, very important foundation in your children and teaches them the importance of literacy, a love of reading, and hopefully a lifelong love of learning and exploring new ideas. As always, guys, remember to like and subscribe to this video. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Remember to check out our new Instagram account at Ashboro Library Teen Zone. If you've got pictures of yourself at the library or a picture of yourself with what you like to read, you can send it to me at teenzone at randolphlibrary.org and I will add it to our Instagram feed. Have a great, healthy, and safe Thanksgiving, and I will see you guys next month in December for a holiday vlog special made up of little clips of you guys telling me what your favorite part of the year of 2015 was. I'll see you then, and remember, keep reading.